Hi, I'm Mario Malpetti, a research fellow at the New University of Cambridge, and I got a interested in sciences since when I was a child. I really loved like spending time in the nature and I was doing these little booklets with uh, like uh, describing uh, um, a lot of things that I was seeing in nature. And then so I decided to study um, as, like to study a scientific uh, to start a scientific career and in particular in high school I decided to study math, uh, science, uh, biology, chemist, uh, uh, chemistry, physics, uh, etc. Um, it was very interesting because it was a very hardcore science school and we were just 10% of uh, uh, girls in the school, uh, but everyone was super supportive. My teachers, my family, they never made a point that I was a girl doing a scientific school. And then I went on uh, to study neuroscience and psychology for my degree in Italy and um, because I was very interested in the brain and also in particular understanding why sometimes the brain doesn't work uh, like it should. Um, so I went on for this uh, bachelor and master in Milan before moving to Cambridge for my uh, PhD in clinical neurosciences. And during my bachelor and uh, master in Italy, I uh, got to know more about dementia and the neurodegenerative diseases and I was very um, heartbroken in hearing that there were no uh, cures, uh, there was not a cure for these conditions. So I started to look at neuroimaging like specific brain scans to look at the, the brain of people with these conditions and I thought that, that uh, looking at these techniques we could find something uh, to measure the brain changes early on in the condition but also to find targets for potential treatments. And so I moved here in uh, 2017 and uh, here I discovered for the first time, uh, I got to know for the first time about progressive superlunga palsy uh, because I was doing my PhD with Professor James Rowe and uh, here there are like very specific clinics uh, for this uh, particular condition. And um, it was uh, very heartbreaking seeing how devastating this uh, condition can be. Uh, for families and not just for the person with the uh, diagnosis and uh, so during my PhD I wanted to really understand more about uh, brain changes uh, in uh, these conditions and trying to understand if we could uh, try to find the brain change, the main brain change that we could stop with potential treatments and um, we published a lot of papers about inflammation and other uh, brain changes like jump proteins for example and uh, for my and next step of career, I applied for a research fellowship to dive into a bit more in this uh, uh, role of immune system uh, in uh, people with PSP and also related conditions and looking at brain scans and also the blood tests. So during my PhD, I got to know also about the PSP association and I was super interested to understand more how uh, this association is not just uh, helping the families, but also supporting research and uh, the researchers and linking actually families, uh, patients and also the researchers. Um, and uh, as part of, um, uh, to start my own lab, I applied for this uh, uh, small grant with PSP Association and I got one, I was lucky enough. And this created uh, uh, the perfect uh, space to start uh, with a small study generating new data, completing new data on the, uh, these blood tests uh, to measure inflammation in people with PSP and related conditions. And uh, from that, uh, we identified uh, uh, changes that are unique in people with these conditions as compared to healthy volunteers. And because of this pilot data, now we are able to apply for uh, bigger funding. Uh, so it has been quite crucial for me, not just to understand more about the uh, patient support uh, um, that they provide but also in terms of uh, starting with new studies and expand the research further.